In this video, I'm going to share with you how to become a mobile developer. Welcome to today's session on the Flutter Mobile Developer Roadmap. In the next few minutes, we are going to explore the essential skills and milestones for becoming a proficient Flutter developer. Whether you are a beginner or looking to advance your skills, this roadmap will guide you on your journey. Let's dive in. Getting started, first thing first, if you are new to Flutter, the journey begins here. Start by setting up your Flutter environment and get familiar with the Dart programming language because Flutter uses Dart language. You can easily start coding in Dart using Dartpad without any installation. Dartpad is an online code editor for the Dart language. In addition to executing regular Dart programs, it can run Flutter programs and show graphic output. Dartpad enables learners to engage with the content without having to set up a development environment. Dartpad is a great open source tool for learners to test their knowledge by running example code. Next comes to learn the basic of Dart language. Start from variables, data types, functions, operators, and control flow statements. These are the basic of any programming language. Dart is a dynamic, class-based, object-oriented programming language with closure and lexical scope. Synthetically, it is quite similar to Java, C, and JavaScript. You don't need specific knowledge to learn Dart programming language. Even the absolute beginners can learn it. If you know any of these programming languages, you can easily learn the Dart programming language. Next, which is Flutter UI widgets. Flutter UI is built using widgets. Flutter widgets are built using a modern framework that takes inspiration from React. The central idea is that you build your UI out of widgets. Widgets describe what their view should look like given their current configuration and state. When a widget state changes, the widget rebuilds its description, which the framework differs against the previous description in order to determine the minimal changes needed in the underlying render tree to transition from one state to the next. In other words, widget controls everything in Flutter UI. For example, Understand the difference between stateful and stateless widgets, what is material widgets and inherited widgets. Understand the widget tree and learn to create responsive layouts that adapt to different screen sizes. Get comfortable with material design and Cupertino widgets to achieve consistent and platform-specific UI. Next, Flutter State Management. State management in Flutter refers to the process of managing and updating the data or state in a Flutter application. In Flutter, the state of the widgets can change dynamically. For example, in an e-commerce application, the item that you just added to the cart will be stored in the state so that the item data persisted when you navigate to different screens. Try to explore different state management approaches like set state for simple cases, provider for more advanced scenarios, block for managing complex app states, and Riverport as an alternative to provider. Next, which is networking and APIs. Working with APIs in Flutter evolve making HTTP requests to a server and processing the responses. Flutter provides a number of libraries for making HTTP requests, including HTTP and Dio package. The HTTP library is a popular choice for making HTTP requests in Flutter, as it is easy to use and provides supports for HTTP methods to perform crude operation. Modern apps heavily rely on data security, no matter display or authenticate. Handling APIs is a must-known skill for becoming a mobile developer. Last but not least, unit tests. Unit tests are handy for verifying the behavior of a single function method, or class. The test package provides the core framework for writing unit tests, and the Flutter test package provides additional utilities for testing widgets. And there you have it, your Flutter mobile developer roadmap. Remember, this journey is about continuous learning and growth. Stay curious, explore advanced topics like Firebase integration, payment gateway integration, advanced animation, and more as you become a Flutter expert. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel.